So you live in Orange? seen bunny boots? No, but I kind of don't really like remember what he looks like necessarily too much. Is he, is he down here? Yeah, he's running around with a white motorcycle helmet. He has a cane. We need to get as many people Yeah, I've only met him that one time. Well, I'm going to go mingle around right on. All right. How you doing? Let me see the side. 
I didn't know you lived in Oregon. Huh? I didn't know you lived in Oregon. Where do you think I live? Washington. <laughs> so did you have a good march? Uh, he was running around down here earlier. I don't know where he's at now. Oh, they're watching us right now, Huckleberry. <laughs> ah, cool. Do I look good on camera? Am I pretty? No. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, but you know what it was? Uh, Hmm. All of us, there's like three of us, three cars. I got six in my car, they got another five in theirs. Alright, how's it going? Good. I went down there by myself one day again to the Occupy Ice and uh, I was surprised because I know quite a few of those kids. Oh, she knows you really when you were not fucking stealing shit. I sat down to fucking take a seat, you asshole. You sat down, you grabbed her I grabbed her shit. I, grab, I, grab shit. I put my fucking purse down, you fucking moron. You're a fucking moron and so is she. Who's she? So, I'm um, sitting here. Yeah, you need to wear that pussy hat. You need one. Some of them, I met them March 4th, 2017, because I didn't know anybody. That's the first one I didn't get to. I saw it online, I went down the like, I swing by myself, I didn't go back in the park, I was just on the sidewalk. Yeah. And I saw a lot of those kids. Um, no, a lot of those kids, I saw them. But you told me, so the ones that are travelers who sleep on the street, they put on their mask, but they're not really in Tifa, or what are they? Just street kids? It, it's street kids. But you know the ones I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. They were the ones that pushed you. If that was you, they were pushed off the yeah. way. Those are them. Aja, the trans. Yeah. Okay. The, the trans is, is Antifa. Yes. Pick it around. Okay, so that's, so that's, um, yeah, they're Antifa. And the really blonde guy with the freckles? He's no. Okay. No, there's only one one Antifa in that group. And that's the trans. Yeah. Aisha. You see, Aisha is the nicest one to me. Yeah. Because I bought one of the, at Lake Oswego, I, mm -hmm. I bought lunch for the girl. Mm -hmm. His boyfriend got arrested. That black haired girl, yeah. she was shaking, which is probably coming off of drugs. But she told me she was hey. hungry. Yeah. <laughs> hey! Oh, hey! 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 I don't give a fuck. All right? No, 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 hey, we don't do I just fighting. told the woman I protect her shit, I'm not her no. fucking, you know, no. come on, the news people, the news people, quit cameras, all of a sudden I'm the communist, I'm the beta, the beta commie, come on family, come on family, no family's back. Huh? Come on, family. No. Boys, no fight. I'm good. But yeah, no. The, um, family gets into it sometimes. Hey. Right there, badass. He's a and pussy. Because I bought. 
So I bought her some really lunch. Mm -hmm. I walked over and got her some veg vegetarian chili and some chips. And then she, she, she shared it. And so Arja knows me from that day. Yeah. Arja likes to talk to me about how she can't get a job. Mm -hmm. She's from a prominent family. And she told me that her mom mm -hmm. has a lot of contacts but can't get her a job. Right. And so I guess she's estranged from her family. But I don't understand why she's Antifa because she seems so calm. When I saw her pushing up against you, I was like, whoa. Yeah. She's the one that got hit by the truck that day. That was her. Because we were over here singing uh, Christmas songs. Yeah. And they were yelling. Munching pigs was yelling with the speaker. And the men went up and scared them and they ran and she ran in front of the truck. The bush was hurt severely. But the Occupy Eyes got they took they they took it down like two days after I was down there. Yeah. It got pretty bad. It, it did. They uh, they managed to close the food cart, which was feeding homeless people. I saw that. And uh, the sanitation got really out yeah. of control. And the um, um, building that was catty corner from it had a lot of veterans and stuff. And uh, they're telling the people in the building, "Well, if you don't believe our way, then you can't. Then you can't walk down the street and stuff. You got to leave another way." I'm the only one that goes. Yeah, they wouldn't let me go in, but they came out to talk to me. Yeah. And I go, you guys, do you realize you created a border, took some land, created a border, built some walls, set up security, set up a guard tower, you put up cameras, and you make people leave who cross into your territory. I go, but that's what you're protesting. Yeah. Because <laughs> you were treated like an illegal. Yeah. You were an undocumented, unwanted trespasser. Right. And I was too. I wasn't allowed to go into their country. Right. Which doesn't make sense. I'm so confused. They need some guidance to get them on the right track. Yeah. Well. They got a lot of. Them. They got a lot of fraud, backwards beliefs. Yeah. So. I mean, I, you can look at this group and know there's nothing white supremacist about anybody. Mm -hmm. Look at look at everywhere you look, you see black, you see Mexican, yeah. you see native. You know, Donovan is Native American. Right. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. us, us, a lot of us women, like mm -hmm. I have mixed race kids, Native American and black. I grew up black. I was married to an African. Um, even Haley, she's she's Italian. Her mom, they're Italian. So it's like we're not into any of that stuff. If some of those folks want to come and hang around us, hey, mm. they're just hanging around us. But they don't mean anything. Right. You know, I went to school with some black supremacists. They don't mean anything. They're not powerful. It's just what they want. It's just the hate inside them. Yeah. I had a friend that I couldn't go to her house mm -hmm. just to call her because I was white. I couldn't I've, get caught in her house. She never were rich white people and she, her stepmother, her dad was a racist older stepmom, so I can't her. Yeah. And she was super light skinned. Go figure. Well, my dad's uh, best friend is a Hispanic guy. Uh -huh. And about four years ago, my dad went to one of his kids' birthday parties. Uh -huh. And someone pointed my dad out to him and goes, what's he doing here? And my dad's friend sat there and said, well, if you don't like him being here, you can leave. <laughs> wow. No, my son is also Hispanic. Yeah. Um, I work, I volunteer for my church because I speak fluent Spanish. And I go out and interpret for the church sometimes because I retired. So. I used to drive my car in Mexico with my daughter at night, and when it was safe, I lived on the border and I knew that. Right. Yeah, I was getting tons of shots of it. 